Hello everyone! Welcome sa ating second solve problem sa separation of variables. We have to obtain the general solution for the differential equation 1 minus xy prime is equal to y squared. For our first step, para malaman natin ano ba dapat yung na kay dx, ano yung na kay dy, baguhin muna natin yung notation. So we have this y prime, this is also the same as dy over dx. So binago lang natin yung notation. And then, we have to separate our variables. Tignan muna natin kung aare na mahiwalay natin lahat ng function of x kasama ni dx at lahat ng function of y kasama ni dy. First, let us multiply both sides of our equation by dx. Multiplying both sides of our equation by dx, mawawala na si dx dito sa ating left-hand side. So, this is 1 minus x dy is equal to y squared dx. Then, kung mapansin natin, this is a function of x, pero kasama siya ni dy, this is a function of y, kasama siya ni dx. So, we have to separate them. To do that, let us multiply both sides of our equation by, eto, tatanggalin natin si 1 minus x, so this is 1, all over 1 minus x, sa kabila naman, ang tatanggalin natin ay si y squared. If we multiply this, ang mangyayari, si 1 minus x mawawala dito sa ating left side, pero magkakaroon tayo ng 1 over y squared. Kaya ito ay naging 1 over y squared dy is equal to, sa ating right hand side, mawawala naman si y squared, ang matitira ay si 1 minus x dx. Then, we can simplify. So, 1 over y squared is still equal to y raised to negative 2. Wala pa tayong ginawa dito sa ating right side. Then, this is a function of y kasama ni dy. 1 over 1 minus x is a function of x kasama ni dx. Then, we can say that our differential equation is separable. We can now proceed with the next step of our problem. Then, we take the integral nung both sides ng ating equation. Pinagpalit ko lang dito si dx, dito si dy. Then, doing that, getting their integral, simula muna tayo dito. So, wala siyang direct na integral. Yung dx all over 1 minus x. So, gagawa natin siya ng paraan. Pero, we can see that this part may lead to ln. Kasi pag kinuha natin yung derivative nitong nasa denominator, constant 0, and then eto naman, negative x, this is negative dx. Kaya kailangan lang natin ng negative sign dito sa taas to compensate. Pero let's take it step by step para at least kahit na paano, kung nakalimutan, ma-recall natin yung proseso ng hindi agad natin ina-apply yung formula. First, we let u be our denominator, 1 minus x, and then let's take its derivative, du is equal to, derivative nito, again, constant is 0, negative x, derivative is negative dx. Pero kung mapansin nyo, meron tayong dx. What you have here is negative dx. So, para maging dx siya, let us multiply both sides of this equation by negative 1, kaya ito ay magiging negative du is equal to dx. Now, we can substitute. Yung dx natin will become negative du, sa so substitute natin siya dito, and then, yung 1 minus x natin will become u. Isa substitute din naman natin siya dito. Then, doing that, so this becomes negative du all over u. Kaso, ang meron tayo na formula for integration leading to ln ay du over u. So, kailangan kong ilabas si negative. Kaya siya ay naging negative integral of du all over u. Wala pa tayong ginagawa sa ating right side. So, this is du over u. So, the integral of du over u is just equal to ln of u plus c. Tapos, eto naman, we have this variable y raised to a certain integer. Kaya, pwede natin gamitin yung power rule of integration. Then, doing both of this at the same time, du over u is equal to ln of u. So, this is negative. Carry over yung negative sa labas. du over u is equal to ln of u is equal to, ang gagawin natin dito, we will be adding 1 dun sa ating exponent. Tapos, yun yung ilalagay natin sa ating denominator. So, negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1, and then negative 1 din sa ating denominator. Then, again, huwag kalimutan si plus C. Tapos na tayo dun sa integration process, the rest simplification na lang. Ibalik na natin si u, ano ba yung value ng u natin? u is equal to 1 minus x. So, this is negative ln of 1 minus x. And then, dito naman tayo sa ating right side. So, this is y raised to negative 1. So, equivalent niya, since negative exponent siya, kunin natin yung reciprocal, this is equal to 1 all over y. So, this is still negative, gawa nung nasa denominator natin na negative 1. To simplify more, let us multiply both sides of our equation by 
negative y. Tanggalin natin to so this is simplified to negative y. So, ang mangyayari, so this will become positive y ln, and then dito naman, negative y times negative 1 over y, this will become positive 1. So, this will become y ln of 1 minus x is equal to 1 plus c. Then, tignan natin dito sa ating right side. So, 1 plus c, 1 is a constant, c is also a constant. So, we can designate it as another constant na c sub 1. C sub 1 is equal to 1 plus c. Kasi pareho naman silang constant para lang mas malinis tignan yung ating de. But, if you still want to put it in terms of y, then let us multiply both sides of our equation by ln of 1 minus x. So, y is equal to c sub 1 all over ln of 1 minus x. This is already good, pero if you want to do this, okay lang din naman. Both are correct. Then, this is the general solution for our differential equation. Thank you.